Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ TLM. You're watching DJ TLM TV. It's Wednesday. Time for a new Q&A video. And I received a question that I feel is very important because it is about something that has annoyed me for the longest time. Now, it relates to my mix tutorial video part four, which was all about timing. And if you haven't seen that video and you're interested, go check that out. It could be very useful. But this relates to that topic because the question is about using acapellas. And if you don't know what an acapella is, it's the vocals from a track without the music, so just the vocals, and mixing vocals with a different instrumental or maybe with your own beats. So you could call that like making a live remix or a mashup. And over the years, because we were doing that way back as well, using acapellas and different instrumentals, over the years I've heard so many DJs do this wrong. And especially if they're using an acapella from a song that you know and love, it just makes me cringe to hear people mix it in the wrong way so the whole vocal sounds off. So the question was, he noticed that a lot of times vocals don't actually start on the one. And in my timing video, I talked about how you want to start your transitions. A lot of times you have to start them on that one count. So how do you get that acapella in there the right way when the vocals don't start on the one? That's the question. Good question because at least you gave it some thought. And I've heard too many DJs who I guess don't really give it thought, uh, any thought at all. They just start the acapella and it sounds horrible if you get it wrong. I mean, they might have the tempo right, but if you start that acapella, that vocal at the wrong point, then the whole vocal sounds off. I really hope that you understand what I mean when I say that because I have the feeling that a lot of people just don't understand that. Listen to the original version. Listen to how the vocals flow over the beat. You have to achieve that same thing. And that can only be if you start that vocal at the exact same point as the original. If you started a count later or half a count or just anywhere in between, you mess up the flow totally. And if, if I was the artist and I heard my vocal being played in the wrong position, the wrong part of the track, so that it sounds off, I wouldn't like that. So um, first things first. Most important thing, like I just mentioned, make sure that you know the original song. Listen to that song. Listen to how the vocal sounds over that beat and where it starts. And especially if it's a song that you know, that you know how it's supposed to flow. Now, second of all, of course, if you take a different beat that you want to use, you want to have that acapella and you want to play it over a different beat. Make sure that that second beat is playing at the same tempo as the original beat from the original track where you got the acapella from. That has to be right. Tempo has to be exactly the same. Then you have to go check out the vocals. Now, I made a couple of examples, and if you've seen my channel before, then you know that I can't use anybody's music, so I can't use songs right now. So I just plugged in a microphone before I started recording this video, and I just put some vocals over two beats, and I have the acapella versions as well. So... Let me check that out right now. I have a version right here. Let me turn this down a little bit. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy DJ TLM, The Last Mohican. You're watching DJ TLM TV. This is just a little example. Adding some vocals. Okay. Here we go. Test. Test, test, microphone test. One, two, three, four. All right, now what we have here is the track starts. So for now, we will call this the original track, and we're going to take that a cappella in a minute. At the first part, you could hear me talk. You hear that in a, a, a lot of songs that it might just start with an intro. In this case, you had an eight bar intro and I was just doing some talking. So that's not the actual verse, I'm just talking. And after those eight bars, that's where my so-called verse began. And in this case, that verse started on the one, because if I take it right there, test, 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 test. I do vocals right on the beat. So I say test right on that one. So let me count it. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, 
Cool. So after that, I even did a count, an actual count. So you can hear that it's totally on beat. But that's the verse. It starts with me just talking, and that beat starts here. One. What's going two, on, ladies and gentlemen? One. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I start somewhere after that, uh, uh, almost around the two count. So that definitely doesn't start on the one. So let's take the acapella version right now. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I have that here. It's your boy DJ TLM, the last Mohican. So the first mistake you could make, so let's imagine that you have a beat ready. I have an instrumental right here. I made sure that that instrumental is uh, playing at the same speed as the original track. So these two are playing at the same speed. So I'm good there. So that a cappella is now at the same tempo as that instrumental. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Even though somehow that a cappella is saying that it's 92 BPM, when the original track is saying 93, and that second instrumental is also 93, I'm not even looking at that BPM right now. Don't know how it happened, but imagine if you analyze your songs and you're gonna analyze a cappellas, do not count on that BPM analyzer to get the, uh, the BPM right. Always make sure that you take your BPM from the original version with a beat. So I know they match. So here's the thing. Let me now start that a cappella what, what, on the one from that intro part. And we'll see what happens once we get to my verse. So let me start the beat. And I'm going to start it on a one, so get ready. All right, that one is armed. This is my eight bar intro, whatever. Now let me start it on the one. One, two, three, four. This could sound very good. If you don't know the track, this is just talking over a beat. This is just a little example. This could sound right. Some now we're almost past those eight bars. So here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four. <laughs> All right. So you could clearly notice that that did not add up. That's why I did my count, and that vocal also had a count. That vocal was supposed to be at the same part where I was. So when I was counting through my one, two, three, and fours, they should have been right on track with the one, two, three, four from the acapella. But the acapella was ahead of me. And that's because I started that intro from the one count. And if you listen to that original song, one, what's going on? That talking doesn't start on that one count. So you need to make sure that you start it at the right point. Now in this case, if I was gonna use this acapella, I wouldn't even use that intro talk. I would just start Test. at that part. So I would play that beat, take it back to the beginning. And I would just start this on the one because I know it's supposed to be on the one. Test. 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 And that will work. So that's already an example of why you need to understand, uh, know the song that you're using, know that a cappella. I listened to it first and I knew that my verse started on that one and that was the easiest part to track. I made sure my tempo was aligned and then I made sure I started that a cappella at the right point. So that's my first example. Now I have one more example. Let me play the track first. Yeah. All right, so this beat, this whatever, it starts with a little intro. And after that intro, uh, I do some vocals. So it's an eight bar intro, almost done. Two, three, and. One, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. We... All right, 
So it should be pretty obvious that that vocal did not start on the one. I had an eight bar intro, so you could start your mix at that point, but if we take it eight bars ahead, then it starts with drums. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So okay, in this case, we have a cappella, and it doesn't start on the one. So in this case, we need to find out where it begins. Now, in all honesty, back in the days when I did this more often, I didn't really count because I just knew where it was supposed to begin because if I used the acapella, it was from a song that I was used to playing, like the original version. So I would rap along to that song all the time. Um, and even at home, I would put on the instrumental version and just rap the original vocal myself because I was a fan of the song. So I knew where the vocal should begin. So I never really counted. That just, it, it was just in my head, but you can definitely count it. So what we're gonna do now is just count it. So one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. Here's the thing. It doesn't start on the two and it doesn't start on the three. It actually starts in between. Now what you could do is just take that info and be like, I'll start it just a little bit after the two. You could do that. One, two, and just let it go after that and adjust. What you can also do if you wanna do a little counting trick is add extra counts in between your one and your two and your three by adding um, and. So instead of saying one, two, three, four, say one and two and three and four. Let's try that. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three. As you can tell, the vocal starts on that end between two and three. So now you have an actual point that you could use, a counting point. So you could actually count one and two and that's where it's supposed to go. So you could do it by counting as well, especially if you don't know the acapella that well. So again, I have an instrumental right here. I already made sure that the tempo is the same. They're both playing at 94 BPM. I only made sure I uh, matched the beat with that original version with music. In this case, my acapella doesn't even have a uh, BPM mentioned, but I don't care. As long as I play it as zero and my original is also at zero, I now know that the acapella is playing at 94 BPM. So I can now start playing this beat. And we know the count. So we know that it's one and two and. We want to throw it in on that and right there. So one and two and. That's where I'm going to start. So acapella's right here. Here comes the new part. One and two and. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. One more time. One, two, one, two. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two, one, two, All right. So that way you will have it playing right. So I don't, I don't think I have to show you, but just in case, let me show you what happens if you start it on the one count where it shouldn't start. Take one, that one back to the beginning. So this would happen if you were started on the one. One, two, three, and. One, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. We get down. One, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one. Ugh. So I hope you noticed. That's why I'm glad I actually did this last example. I hope you just noticed that that flow, and I'm not really flowing, but that that flow sounded awful. And I think a lot of DJs do get it wrong because they have the tempo matched. So in this case, like my vocal is kind of repeating. So uh, because the tempo is playing at the same speed, both tracks are playing at the same speed, it might sound to them like it's probably correct because that one two comes in at the same time every uh, couple bars. So they feel, yeah, okay, it's playing at the right tempo, I'm good. But no, if you listen to the original song, you heard how the flow was supposed to go, then you're also supposed to hear that this one, this last example was wrong. So. Um, know the original song, listen to it, and if you have to, make sure that you count so you know 
at which count you're supposed to start playing that acapella. Um, I hope this helps you out. I hope this made a lot of sense. Uh, if not, you know where to find me, DJTLM TV at DJTLM. You can always ask me more questions. I don't mind making 10 videos about the subject as long as I can help you out. So hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you share the videos because this is all about sharing that knowledge, man. I wanna hear more DJs playing those acapellas over drums the right way. All right, guys, I'll be back on Friday and hopefully on Saturday, I will have the Saturday Super Session for you guys, part two. And I say hopefully because, oh my God, it's a lot of work. But if not, it'll be there next week. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.